come clean my boyfriend's apartment with me part two last time i made this video a lot of people were upset so i just wanted to preface a few things first off i don't clean don't ever go to some man's house and clean up that is super de duper pick misha okay that is disgusting if you ever do that slap yourself okay don't go over to some man's house and start cleaning you ain't nobody's grandma stop Okay, clean your own house or start a cleaning business and get paid or something. But definitely don't do that. That is the most ratchetest thing you can do. <laughs> don't do that. Please stop. If somebody, if I were a man and some woman came over my house and started cleaning, I would be mad at her. I would be mad at her. Who told you to clean? No, I don't want you to clean, pick Misha. No, stop. You're not going to be my wife. I'm not going to make you my long-term girlfriend. You could try to clean and cook your way over here, but now you just look real desperate. Do not clean no man's house. Isn't he dusty? Isn't he full of dust? Isn't he ashy? <laughs> One that you cannot trust. Maybe I'm good all by myself. But baby, you, you make me better If you're creeping, just don't let him know Cause his heart can't take it anymore I'm a movement by myself But I'm a force when we're together If you don't like where you live, don't date where you live. Get up out of there. What sign should you avoid when dating men? The negative bank account sign. The minus sign. You still thinking about an ex that made you pay for stuff? You have Stockholm Syndrome. What if he's not attractive but wants to support Koja? Sir, get you some wrong prescription contact lenses and stick them in there. Everything is a blur. You said, do I worship the devil? I don't worship a man. <laughs> what I look like worshiping a man, stupid. How you doing? If you're on a date and they're looking at another woman, look at cards. Because a man can be cute and broke and he knows you ain't going nowhere. But looking at cards is totally different. Oh my god, there's a Bentley. I wonder who's driving that. You know, that way he sees. You're not looking at looks, you're looking at money. I mean, yeah. Don't look at other men, look at cars. That'll get them. Never argue with a man. Exactly. Cry. Like, crying is so much more feminine than arguing, and you get exactly what you want. With that wig you got on tonight, I would be intimidated too. Shit. Do you want to borrow it? There's nothing wrong with two incomes. That's right. So there should be nothing wrong with you having two jobs. You said your provider said he's really depressed and might stop working. You tell him you're sexy when you go to work. Girl, I need to bring more to the table than just looks. What if she bring another man, sir? Is that going to work? A man that can pay all the bills. Are 22-year-olds trustworthy? No man is trustworthy. Sparkle, sparkle. <laughs> uh, just trust that they got money. That's all you need to trust in. They got money. I don't believe in submitting to them. This is submitting my bills to them so they can pay them. Call me a lazy gold digger, any day. I mean, you ain't gonna call me broke. Should you be letting your former professor chase you? Girl, you should do whatever you need to do to get some money. If you got some money, your former professor got some money, baby. <laughs> Okay, let me calm down. Let me take one of my CBD gummies. Hold on, okay? Hold on. If you're on a date and they're looking at another woman, look at cars. Because a man can be cute and broke, and he knows you ain't going nowhere. But looking at cars is totally different. Oh, my God, look, there's a Bentley. I wonder who's driving that. You know, that way he sees. You're not looking at looks. You're looking at money. I mean, yeah. Don't look at other men. Look at cars. That'll get them. How do you know if you're get, if you're the ugly friend? <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. How do you know if you're the ugly friend? Ask a child that don't know you. 
Take a picture of you and your friend. Hold it up to some child. Who's prettier? Who's ugly in this picture? Okay. I've been with him four years and we still ain't moved out or have a ring. And currently he has no job. Then you a prisoner. You've been kidnapped by a broke man. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know why you're still there. If a man walks away from you or ghosts you with no explanation or they may have other options and things like that. What you don't want to do as a woman is question it. You don't care. <laughs> you're unbothered. OK, if you are not unbothered when you're ghosted, then you're doing this all wrong. The point of being ghosted is to be unbothered. Because a lot of times when a man ghosts a woman, sometimes, not all the time, it's to get the woman to chase. And you're not that type of woman, so you're not going to chase. A lot of another way, another reason is either they can't afford you or they found somebody else or they went back to whoever they were with in the first place. So you don't want to care why. If they wanted you, they would be there. OK, so don't ever question why a man ghosts you. If they come back into your life, charge them admission. How do you ask a man for money without feeling that like this? Do you want to make me happy right now? <laughs> yeah, of course I do. I want to make you happy too. But later on. Well, what do you want? No, I don't know. I don't know if I should tell you yet. Come on, what is it? Then whisper in his ear like this. I want you to take me to the ATM. And give me as much money as you choose. It's kind of a kink. I just want to see what you're going to give. <laughs> it's like, okay, let's go. Then you're going to say, no, never mind. You're going to tease them a little bit. You're going to say, like, never mind. How about the next time we see each other, you just bring it to me. There you go. It's a challenge. He already know he's going to seduce you because you just whispered in his ear. And you know what that do. <laughs> So you got to break out of shyness. You got to break out of shyness. Whenever I tell a man I want to go shopping, they suggest Target or Walmart. Go to the electronics section then, girl. Make it happen. Go straight to the electronics section. Get you a laptop, girl. <laughs> How you doing? That's, a, that's an insecurity, okay? You can't use jealousy. You can't say, why didn't you answer your phone? Well, where you, you never use, yo, you must have been super busy today at work today because maybe I called you. I needed you. I had to, you know, I had to get some strange man to um do this and that for me because I didn't know what to do. Next time he's answering that phone, baby, with quickness. I don't know. Like, I didn't know how to do my tires because it was the air, the air was like low and my tires didn't know how to do it. So I was trying to call you to ask you what to do while I was there, but you didn't answer. So this other man came and did it for me and got my tires right. So, you know, um. But that's okay. My tires are good now. You have don't make them jealous. Just make them seem like you called him first. You needed him, and he was not there to help you. Next time that phone, loop, 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 loop. You know, you don't get mad. Well, why didn't you answer the phone? You know, you give him the reason why he didn't answer the phone. You don't ask him. You give him the reason. Oh, baby, you must have been so busy working hard at work, and you know, you just maybe you didn't hear my call. You were too busy in a meeting. But I was, I needed you. You know, make him feel needed still. And then the next time he's gonna break his neck, to answer that phone. Okay. Never show insecurities. If you show insecurities, he's gonna back off. He's like, Ugh, you know, why does she feel like this? Should I be? Why, should I be with someone else? You know, you can't expect someone not to lie. Your child is gonna lie to you. Your mom is gonna lie to you. Your dad is gonna lie to you. Everyone is gonna lie to you. But you expect this man, who's not even related to you, to tell you the truth all day every day? That's just silly. All men lie. When 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 have you ever seen a man who didn't lie? You set yourself up for failure for even expecting them not to lie. Mm -hmm. You can't hate people for what you are, do as well, right? So I'm going to lie. You're going to lie. He's going to lie. We're all going to lie. But how can we benefit from each other's lives?
That's the question. Mm -hmm. Right. They're all going to lie. Rich, poor, broke, ugly, cute. They're all going to lie. Just accept it. It's like all women are going to lie. What sign should you avoid when dating men? The negative bank account sign. The minus sign. How do you punish a man without being super emotional? Get another one. Get money from another one. Someone said date is bad. Ooh, that's wrong. Whenever I tell a man I want to go shopping, they suggest Target or Walmart. Go to the electronics section, then, girl. Make it happen. Go straight to the electronics section. Get you a laptop, girl. <laughs> Make sure the second date is a money date, which means shopping, some type of gift or spending a lot of money, but you gotta make it a money date. The faster you get him to spend money, the faster he attaches to you. So drag him into your delusion, quick, fast, and in a hurry. Said, what are you bringing to the table, men are tired? I'm not bringing nothing to the table, baby, sprinkle, sprinkle. If you want a woman to bring something to the table, go to IHOP, go to the restaurant where you can tip her, baby, sprinkle, sprinkle. Because if I bring something to the table, you're gonna be mad because it's gonna be another man. Best to be overly dressed than underdressed. Yeah, because they don't know where you're coming from or where you're going. But if you underdress, they know where you're coming from and where you're going. Nowhere and probably home. You said women will tell you they love you, hold your hand, but secretly want your bag. Exactly. Men will tell you they love you, hold your hand, but secretly want what's in your pants. Same thing. What are my thoughts on short guys? Do they have long money? How to seduce an ex? Don't. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Why isn't he asking how to seduce you? <laughs> this is the problem. Women need to be humbled. Women will be humbled when you can pay every bill. That's humbling to one. I can't be humbled to some broke dusty. That's crazy. That makes zero sense ever. You, if you want me to be humbled, you got to do something that will humble me. And paying bills and doing all that stuff will humble me. Yes, it will. Oh. Girl, he paid my bills. Girl, he paid everything. Girl, he paid the mortgage, bought me a car. I don't have to work. Oh yes, I'm making him a I'm making him a plate at the cookout. Do you want extra, baby? Let me know if you need some hot sauce. I got that too. But Stephen Hawking, he cheated on his wife, but he couldn't even talk. He had a wheelchair, and he had to move his eyeballs to type on a keyboard. And he still cheated with his nurse and ended up marrying her and divorcing his wife and can't even talk. So if you say, good old man cheat, go read Stephen Hawking's story and watch his movie and see what had happened. You can't even talk. You have to move your eyeballs left and right to type on a keyboard. You gotta use your tongue, your chin to make your scooter go. And you still cheat. He had an opportunity, that nurse said, look left that you won't see it, look right if you don't. He looked at left, he said. And he did it twice. And she said, physically decrepit and unable to do anything, but he still found a way to cheat. So when you ask me, do all men cheat? And I use him as a reference, don't be mad. Shira, he is rich but cheap. Should I drop him? He took me shopping, but was commenting about how expensive things were. What should I do? Ooh, girl. Ask him every time you pick up something, can you afford this? As loud as you can, baby. Can you afford this? Can you afford this? <laughs> See what he's saying. Me, I'll both will stop looking at prices after that. I don't get what's wrong. If you had to choose true love or money, um. I cannot live without money, but I can live without true love. That's number one. <laughs> what should I do if he's high functioning alcoholic, but he's providing? Girl, log online while he drunk and go shopping with his credit card. Ask him, say, can I buy some stuff online when he real drunk? He gonna say yes. Girl, you can get a lot of stuff from a drunk. 
What do you bring to the table, Miss? Nothing. I'm not no waitress. And if I was, I'm putting extra food on that bill so you could give me extra. <laughs> what if you ask about body count? Ask about bank account. What you ask about body count? Men and women. You might be surprised. You said women will tell you they love you and hold your hand but secretly want your bag. Exactly. Men will tell you they love you, hold your hand, but secretly want what's in your pants. Same thing. If he's ugly, maybe imagine yourself spending his money. Imagine him taking you shopping. That's the look you didn't need. So this is my imagine him taking me shopping look. Like, I know something you don't know. How do you know if a dude is lying if his lips is moving? Sprinkle, sprinkle. If he always asks for pictures and pictures, he's collecting pictures because he can't collect you. When a woman says, don't worry about it, I will find another way. That means another man. If you don't like old men, then focus on ugly. All right? Ugly with money. Sparkle, sparkle. Worry about feelings. Worry about some cars. 